Good evening, my peeps. It's Tammy Brock, reseller on Poshmark, eBay, Marketplace, and Depop. I am going to be giving you um, my bins haul from the uh, Goodwill bins in St. Pete today. Plus, I'm going to um, tell you uh, what sold in the last 12 days on uh poshmark and ebay for me and let me grab that uh paperwork if you don't mind i forgot to bring it with me sorry about that so i'm gonna get that out of the way this first was from uh my sales from 9 6 to 9 17. so i had a total of uh, 45 sales over 12 days. My gross was $843 and my net was $540. So I sold a uh, Kate Spade uh, button-down shirt for $14, made a profit of uh, $905. I sold a Margaritaville Turvis tumbler for $18, profit of $938. A rhinestone belt for ten dollars, a profit of six oh five. A Cherokee men's scrub shirt for ten dollars, a profit of five oh five. A Lululemon crescent t-shirt for twenty dollars, a profit of seven oh two. A Christian Siriano blazer for eighteen dollars, a profit of eleven forty eight. A Lululemon lost in Pay score it for $31, a profit of $18.79. A bundle of two items, a loft red clutch purse and a splendid gray long sleeve t-shirt for $18, a profit of $8.23. An American Eagle a pair of American Eagle plaid briefs for $10, a profit of $305. A Florida Gators hat for $9, a profit of $405. A Fun to Fun blouse for $12, a profit of $817. A Chico Silk Sheer Pullover Top for $16, a profit of $1142. An Asparagus Steamer Pot, I couldn't remember how much I paid for it. I sold it for $10, so I'm going to uh, say I paid $3 for it at the most, so a profit of four oh five. A pair of Doc Martin uh, ankle boots for forty dollars, a profit of thirty one forty eight. A, a DKNY red sequin top for twenty seven dollars, a profit of nineteen eighty eight. A pair of Levi's five oh five boys jeans for eight dollars, a profit of four dollars and twenty two cents. A pair of Claire's bee and flower earrings for five dollars, a profit of a dollar five. A uh, Lascana wrap sweater for eighteen dollars, a profit of nine thirty eight. A Catherine's blue open cardigan for eighteen dollars, a profit of nine thirty eight. A loft blue floral jumpsuit for twenty two dollars, a profit of fourteen fourteen. A white Swiss dot baby doll dress for sixteen dollars, a profit of eight seventy eight. A Coach Golden Beige Purse for $31, a profit of $15.78. A Simply Vera Long Sleeve Sheer Top for $23, a profit of $14.40. A Fossil Feather Necklace for $11, a profit of $6.80. A Lauren Ralph Lauren Brown Open Cardigan for $28, a profit of $16.38. A pair of Rocket Dog Boho Patchwork Clogs for $21, a profit of $10.78. A pair of Seven for All Mankind Jeans for $45, a profit of $27.48. An Elements Elf Planter for $10, a profit of $4.35. And a Daykind Audrey Knitted Brim Beanie for $8, a profit of $3.83. That was all on Poshmark. And on eBay, uh, a Time and True Camo Cargo Caprice for $7, a profit of $4.90. A J. Crew Cheetah Print Wool Sweater for $19, a profit of $16.34. A Vineyard Vines uh, Pitzer College Tie for $14, a profit of $11.29. A Spartina Embroidered Tunic Dress for 
$22, a profit of $14.34, a moth uh, anthropology tank top for $10, a profit of $9.64, a loft burgundy floral skirt for $17, a profit of $11.56, a time and true uh, linen shorts for $9, a profit of $7.23, a Simply Vera boot cut pull on stretchy pants, $12.50, a profit of $10.03. A LuLaRoe classic t shirt for $11.99, a profit of $8.83. A 151 embroidered jeans, $11 for a profit of $9.04. A Charvet men's dress shirt for $80, a profit of $66.58. A pair of Timberland boat shoes for $44, a profit of $22.36. A Torrid Doctor Who uh, t-shirt for $12.99, a profit of $10.54. And a um, New Direction Poodle embroidered denim shirt for $15.99, a profit of $12.80. And I forgot I had two um, items on Facebook Marketplace, an astronaut hoodie for $8. I couldn't remember how much I paid for it. I think it was around $4, so a profit of $3.11. Uh, and a standard grace embroidered chambray shirt for $22 for a profit of $18.11. So that my gross was $8.43.47 and my net profit after my cost of goods and, and um, fees was $540.60 for 12 days and 45 sales. So now I'm going to get into my uh, Ben's haul um, that I did today. Um, I got three pairs of shoes. I got a pair of Tom's men's, uh, not men's, but uh, women's leather slip-ons. And I, I swear to God, they look like they've uh, never been worn, maybe a tiny bit, size 10. So I'm probably going to list those for 25. I picked up a pair of Hunter um, blue, light blue galoshes. Um, so I am, uh, they do need to be cleaned up, um, but they are, are in pretty good shape. But I will clean them up before I post them. And I'm probably going to post them uh, between $40 and $50. And then I picked up a pair of Merrill uh, hiking shoes. Uh, Vibram hiking shoes. Merrill. Uh, men's size. Uh, I'm not really sure what size. Uh, men's size 9. Nope, I'm sorry, a women's size nine. I lied. So I'm probably going to list those for between 40 and $50 also. I picked up the cutest little Eeyore picture. It's an upside down Eeyore. And I have seen, I saw two. One was on, I think it, I saw two on eBay. One was for like $20, $22, and one was for $70. So I'm probably going to list mine somewhere in the middle. Maybe $30. Maybe $30. I um, picked up a men's 100% uh, leather belt, and it is a size 48. So I'll probably list that for uh, $15. I picked this up, <laughs> a cute little, um, toy, little red doggy, like a, one of those, uh, balloon animal dogs. Um, I have to put batteries in it to see if it works. If it does, I am not sure if I'm going to sell it or if I'm going to give it to my grandkids. Depends. Um, if I do sell it, maybe 20 bucks. If not, then my granddaughters will get it. Um, I got two Vera Bradley, um, one in a purse, and I'll probably list that for $15, $20. And then a, a duffel bag, which I do pretty well with the duffel bags. Um, and I'll probably list this for 
uh, about $25. And I picked up some uh, snowman uh, dish towels for myself, uh, brand new. So, and I picked up a pair of uh, Christmas uh, pajamas for one of my granddaughters, brand new from Carter's. And a couple of Batman masks and capes, one for each granddaughter, still in the package, so they can, you know, play dress up and be Batman, or pretend to be Batman, or, you know, whatever. So, I'll get into the rest of my haul. Um, this is a pair of Victoria's Secret little pajama shorts, really cute. I thought they were so cute, they were size extra large. So I'll probably list them for um, $12, $15. Really cute. Um, this is a J. Crew. I think it's a J. Crew size extra large. Just like a layering piece, long sleeve. Really soft. So maybe $15 on that. This is a... Um, it's by... Uh, Ireland's Eye, made in Dublin, Dublin, Ireland, 100% merino wool, and it's like a uh, knit throw, so I'm probably going to list that for between $40 and $50. Um, I picked up a uh, Weekends by Chico, size 3, which is an extra large, just like a little... Uh, pullover, little fleece pullover, lightweight. So I'll probably list that for $15, $20. This, um, it did not have, I don't think it, yeah, oh, it, it was Soho, New York and Company, Soho Street, I guess. It was a size extra large. It's just like a little uh, shirt dress, olive color. Like a, um, not a shirt dress, but a, a sheath. And it has pockets. So I'll probably list that for $15. This I picked up is really cute. It's new with tags. All it is is Wonder Nation, size extra large, which is from Walmart. But it was a cute little um, shirt dress, the drop waist. And it was new with tags, um, $12.98, so I'll probably list it for $8 to $10. I just thought it was cute. This I picked up. It's um, an embroidered, I believe, uh, tablecloth. Really pretty. I'll show you the embroidery on it. Looks like a basket of flowers on it. So um, I don't know what comps on it might be. I'm sure it's hand embroidered. It's really pretty. So um, I'll have to do comps on it. Maybe 15, 20 bucks. I don't, I, like I said, I honestly don't know what the comps on it would be. So I'll have to look that up. I just thought that was really pretty. I picked up an Ugg bathrobe. Um, I don't know what it's made out of. 97% cotton. I was going to see if there was a date on it, but I don't see it. And it's just like a, a, it's a size large. There is the Ugg. Kind of like a burgundy robe and it actually has the belt with it pockets um it's got fleece on the inside i bet you it's really warm so maybe somewhere between 30 and 50 dollars on that i haven't run comps on that either this i picked up i'm not sure if i'm going to keep it for myself or if i'm going to sell it if i'm going to sell it it's probably not going to do very well um, Pioneer Woman, maybe $12, $15. It's like a little uh, sheath dress. It's all black. And then it has um, a pretty floral 
ruffle at the um, bottom. I just thought it was really pretty. So if I don't keep it for myself, I'll sell it. Uh, like I said, 12 or $15. This I picked up, it's by Cabin Creek. I don't know the brand, but it was a um, really pretty um, floral patterned uh, corduroy like shacket, I guess. So maybe $15 on that. This was a, a new wood tags uh, from Styling Company, which I think is sold at like Macy's. And it is a uh, black um, suede skirt and it's a size 14. It retailed for $89, was marked down to $66.75. And uh, it's like a maxi skirt. So I, I, I haven't run comps on anything. So maybe $25, $30 on that. I think this is vintage. It's uh, Albert Nippon, N-I-P-O-N Studio. And it is a 100% wool, um, long like trench coat. It is missing one button, but there are spare buttons on the inside, so it can be replaced. And um, I did run, I did look up comps on this, so I'm thinking maybe uh, $40 on this. It was 100% wool. So it's just a black coat. I know mean, that's the time of the year is coming up. This is by Hilda Limited. It's 100% lane, which is 100% wool. It is, uh, I think it's made in Germany. Really cute, like, uh, I want to say Fair Isle sweater, button down cardigan. Cute little buttons on it. Uh, nice buttons. So, um, there was one flaw on it, on the collar that I saw, like a, a small hole on the collar. So I will list that in the description, but I did run comps on it. So I'm probably going to list it between 35 and $40, maybe 35 since it's got that flaw. But if I list it for 35 or 40 and then, you know, somebody gives me with the flaw and somebody gives me an offer of maybe 30, then I would um, take it. Oh, um, everything that I'm showing you today cost me $2 and nine cents a piece. I, I got 42 items and my total was $87 and 99 cents. So everything came out to be, um, 209 each. This is an ex officio size large, uh, like a men's uh, fishing shirt, green color. Um, so I'm probably gonna list that for $15, $20. I picked up a uh, cute little Victoria's Secret, and I'm talking little, Victoria's Secret uh, corset. It's a size 32A, really cute, really tiny. So maybe $15 for that. I picked up a really cute belt. I thought it, it's all beaded and um, there's a wood buckle on it, which I thought was really cute, stretchy. So um, maybe, Ten fifteen dollars on that. I did uh, pick up another um, Victoria's Secret bra. This one, uh, I don't know what the size is. That's a shame, hmm, because it looks like they cut out the tag. So I'll have to m measure it. It may be a bathing suit, a bikini top. It's 
really pretty. But um, I'm not sure what the size is. So I will have to do some measurements on that. This I picked up and it is a uh, like a waffle knit Henley type with the skull um, print on it and long sleeve and it is by MMA Elite. It's a 2X and I looked it up and these things are going on eBay for like $75. So I may list mine for maybe 60 to 75 just depends um I'll, I'll see see what they're going for but i did look up the comps and they it looked really good so this is candace cameron burr no. okay thank you um it's the first time i've ever picked up this um brand it's a 2x just like a little short sleeve lightweight sweater i like the colors on it it's new with tags so i'll probably list that for 12 to 15. this i picked up it is a columbia um halter dress really um pretty color um it's got smocking in the back um, I'm just going to see if I could show you the, uh, the brand. It's a large Columbia. So I'll probably list that for about $20. I picked up a Torrid size 2, which is a 2X two-piece bathing suit really cute with a uh, pineapple pattern on it and then um, I have the bottoms also so I'll probably list that for maybe $20-$25 this I picked up it's a polo by Ralph Lauren it's a size extra large a vintage camp and it's got a tropical um, palm tree pattern on it so I, I haven't run comps on anything so I'm thinking maybe 25 on that I just I thought that was really cute I picked up a Kate Spade um, top it's an extra extra small really pretty um, ruffle neckline but it does have a stain on the front, but it looked like it was uh, makeup. So I'm thinking that I can get it out. And there was a small stain on the back. So I'm going to see if I can work my magic on it and get the stains out. And um, hopefully I can and maybe list it for $25. Um, I picked up a pair. I've never bought this brand, but it is a uh, coolie bar. And these are some kind of a, they're capri pants and they're SPF 50. They're like a beach, um, really stretchy, a beach um, pant. I think that you can go in the water with them. Uh, so a... Matisse Ruched Capri is what it says. And uh, so I'm probably going to list those for around 25. Um, this I picked up. It was a Lucky Brand jacket. It looks like it um, is new without the tags because it's still got the little... Um, tag or the little uh thing from where the lucky brand tag was on it uh cute little um util like a utility jacket uh drawstring waist and it snaps and zips up the front and it is hooded so i will probably list that for 
$25, $30. I picked up a Lane Bryant um, tank top that has like a polka dot pattern on the front. So I'm probably gonna list that for $15, $20. I picked up a Life is Good smoke show t-shirt. <laughs> I just thought it was cute. I like Life is Good brand. Um, so I'll probably list that for $15. I picked up a cute little beach lunch lounge. I know we're going out of the summer, but I just thought it was cute. Um, size medium. Get a little, uh, chic dress, three quarter sleeve and really pretty, um, colors purple and blue floral pattern with a ruffle on the bottom. Um, I just, I thought that was really cute and it ties in the front, really cute. So I'll probably list that for maybe 25. I picked up a towel, no loft, I'm sorry, loft size 16. Just a little cute little, uh, like a, Sheep, I think this is a sheep dress. The other one was a shift dress. Um, elastic around the um, neckline, short sleeve. Looks really comfortable, so I'll probably list that for 20 probably $20. This is a Chico's 100% silk, size zero, which is a small button up with, uh, looks like a cute little roll not really a roll sleeve, but it's got um, little grommets on the sleeves. And it's like a tie-dye, a brown tie-dye pattern. So, really cute. So I'll probably list that for 25 button up. This I picked up, I don't know the brand. I like the pattern, it's KB Na. And it is a open cardigan and it is embroidered with little elephants and I guess palm trees. Really cute, really cute. Somebody that likes elephants will like that. So probably 20, 25 on that. This is a, um, Chico's size three, which is an extra large, um, like a burgundy velvet top. Be great for, with a turtleneck and uh, it'd be great for a Christmas party. So probably 20 on that. And I picked up a cute little, it's like an open, well, it's not an open cardigan. It does tie in the front. Um, it's really boho-y, has a uh, lace and, and chiffon or tulle, I guess tulle on the bottom and uh, gray on the top. It's a size small, it's by Paisley Vine. Don't really know that brand, but I'll probably list it for 15, $20. And the last thing that I got is by Mademoiselle, and I think it is vintage. It's some kind of a cape, and uh, I had a hard time figuring it out in the in the Goodwill bins. But I was going to try and show you at least the the tag on it if I could find it. Yeah, it's got like a long collar and that's the tag mademoiselle it's like a red cape so um lots of lots of layers so i will probably list that for uh between um, maybe 
30, maybe 30 to 35. So I think that's all my stuff. I thank you very much for um, watching um, tonight. If you see anything you like, please uh, check out my store at Poshmark is um, Brock1902 and eBay is um, Brock1902 slash Mimi's Closet. So if you liked it, please give me a thumbs up and please hit the subscribe button for my next videos. And I hope you all have a good night. See you the next time.